We are here at Target. Why do I feel so basic? Like my Spanx were peeking through my skirt while I said that. I guess it's not that noticeable, so I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm just so shocked that this event starts like so early. <laughs> We are here at the event. It is so cute. It's like at the rooftop. I think I'm like starting to break a sweat. We came here last time, but it was actually covered. It was the same hotel, but I think it wasn't like right here. No, oh wait, here. it was it this. Was just, it was covered. For the Sigma event, That's huh? Why. It is so hot, huh? If you have a really strong eye and eyebrow, as we know you love the brows, can you would you do the bold lip too? Would you just go for it? Or is Strong. it always like, well, it depends. Like, I think sometimes red kind of goes with everything. Yeah. I mean, like if your hair is pulled up in a ponytail, it's all about what your hair is doing too. So like, you can't have like crazy hair, big eyes, bold lips is like, it's too much going on. Yeah. You know, but if you like a nice high ponytail or a top knot mm -hmm. and you make the eyes kind of like, like today I feel like my eyes are more bold than usual. Mm -hmm. um, just because I have like on eyeliner smoked out a little bit more, you know? So that's a bit more intense for me. So that's my definition of bold eye. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, so I feel like you can do that and then um, have your hair pulled up and have on like a red lip and it still be like, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Hundred percent to kill off. We are stuck in traffic. Tell me why my brows are like almost gone. Tell me why. I did bring my brow pencil, so I think I'm gonna draw on my brows right now because my eyeshadow honestly looks really basic. I mean, it was supposed to be basic, but my brows, I feel like I legit sweated them off. So me and Brian are thinking of, I don't know, going to the movies. We want to go watch Annabelle. Have any of you guys seen Annabelle? If you guys did, let us know down in the comments. Did you guys think it was good, bad, like whatever, scary or not? Dude, my brow, I'm like giving myself a sperm brow. Huh? I need to like get off the camera and do this. <laughs> but we're gonna go watch Annabelle. Just ignore the fact that I have one brow darker right now. I'm not done with it yet. Uh -oh. I fixed my brows a little bit. Honestly, I don't even know how they look right now. I know they don't look even for sure. Like, the, I can't right now. We had an event later on. It was a Nike event. It's also a pre-party for BeautyCon. I, I don't know, like, I didn't want to go to it because we would have to wait hours here in LA. I don't have my makeup with me to touch up. I mean, I obviously have my eyebrow pencil but like I need to touch up my eyelashes my eyeshadow is creasing like this weather just honestly has me all sorts of messed up right now like I could sweat and that's one thing that I freaking hate that if it's a hot day I will sweat like insane with this guy's literally just looking at me vlog awkward <laughs> he literally was like I'm sure I literally have it like against the fucking window so everybody's gonna be like what the hell's wrong with this girl so what the fuck is he saying shit you're gonna hate editing this I am. You are gonna hate it. Like Not as much as your bachelor party though. Oh my god. So Brian edits my vlogs, right? Tell me why. He was editing the bachelorette party with strippers and he literally started crying. I was like, oh MG. And I'm only telling you guys this because like not to like put him to shame at all. Like I would no. I, I actually felt so bad. Like I didn't know what to tell him. I was like, Brian, like it's not what it looks like. Well, actually, no, I didn't say that because it didn't look like anything wrong. Like, I legit was, like, terrified. But, like, I felt so bad for him. Like, the fact that he actually started crying, like, oh, my God. Like, I didn't think, like, he'd feel that way. <sighs> Don't cry now. I have a sweating problem, and I hate it. I sweat a lot. Brian, it could be hot, and he'll say it's, like, hot. I don't know if his body gets sweaty, but his face will not get sweaty at all. And I feel like, I don't know if it's something wrong with me, but I could sweat, and I'm just afraid, like, for my wedding. Being hot, plus me being nervous, I'm gonna be completely drenched, and then dancing and all. Like, what the heck can I do? Like, how can I prevent sweating? I'm literally, I know these people that put, like, Botox on their armpits to stop sweating. Would I have to put, like, Botox all over my face? Like, what the hell? Like, is there something that I could just, like, inject for my face not to sweat without putting Botox? Like, I have 
no idea at this point i really want to do something about it it sounds kind of stupid to some people but it's become a problem where like if i start sweating i'm sweating like it could be because i'm hot or i'm just really nervous and i do consider myself kind of like a shy person and when it comes to events not just beauty events but like just any events like my freaking wedding coming up i know i'm gonna be like so sweaty and it's so annoying like it's really bugs me and i want to do something about it like I, I just don't know like what the heck but here we are with Brian his face all dried up and I'm over here like ruining hot, my though. whole makeup it was freaking hot was burning. we are in Kimona we are here at in and out my spangs are about to make my stomach pop I feel like I no matter what will continue to wear spangs like my cellulite I don't want to say I'm like super insecure about it. well yeah I am insecure about my cellulite your girl needs to do like heavier workouts I guess I don't know <laughs> heavier workouts <laughs> Deliciousness. Are you ready to grow? Up? I am, but I'm very Look, feeling very guilty. You dropped some on your toast. I'm feeling very guilty because Lil Cam freaking out my wedding dress a bit. <laughs> after this, this, probably right not. Now? No, not after this. I think already. No, we gotta hear. No plus one. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye. Tell me why I knocked out right when I got home. It's 10 right now. I have to be up really early tomorrow for BeautyCon, but I'm we hoping know. we can come back by like one. We're gonna go watch Annabelle. Ah! Y'all gonna be scared. Dude. I'm terrified. Look who's coming along with us. Somebody wants to shit themselves. <laughs> no, seriously, everyone, everyone's not telling me how terrifying it is. We got a balance now though. Ah! And we just called like, do you guys have tickets still? Cause we know that shit is wild. Don't start barking at them. You're fucking scaring me, man. We are back home from watching Annabelle, and I gotta say, it was kind of boring. I almost fell asleep. You're fucking lying. Nah, play. I almost crapped myself. It was pretty dope. I insist, go watch it. It was scary. I can't even, like. You can't even what? No. You can't even pop that pimple? No. I wonder if I'm only going Saturday and not Sunday. I literally only have enough of it for tomorrow. Ooh. We are on our way to BeautyCon. I'm so excited. Karina's not coming along this time because she's actually on tour and I believe right now she's in Chicago. She's probably already like doing her show as we speak. If not, she already did it because I know they're a couple hours ahead. Yeah, I think she already did it. Yeah. yeah. I'm having a meetup today. I'm so excited. I'm going to multi walk around as well. I think I'm only going for today. I know they're having today and Sunday. But yeah.
of VitaCon. It was amazing. Oh my god, dude! Like, I feel like meeting you guys in person is like a whole different like level of connections. Like, it, it's crazy. Like, I feel like we know each other, and like, it's so crazy. I don't know. You guys are freaking amazing. But guess what? So all the clips that you guys just saw right now, we get there and they're like, sorry, sir, you can't take that tripod in there. So I was like, fine, Brian, just like give the tripod to the people in the front, like to hold it. It's okay, because we had rock walked across the street, like from the parking. We're not gonna go back to take the tripod. And they're like, sorry, you can't bring the camera in either. I was thinking like, wait, you're going to a YouTube convention. How are you not allowing cameras in there? Like how? So Brian takes the camera and the tripod all the way back to the parking lot while I'm inside trying to like register not register but like sign in because i have a freaking meet up like in 10 minutes and then brian comes all the way back when he gets to the door they tell him oh wait you could take the camera in and just not the tripod i saw people with cameras i was like of course like why would they not allow cameras like why especially Ugh. for us that we're walking in the talent area it's like yeah and even like meeting people like a lot of people had cameras i was like how did they not allow us with a camera so what you just saw right now was just all my snaps and people on my Snapchat story and I are probably like, damn, this girl snapped way too much, but it was really, well, one for memories, obviously, like I'm just trying to snap, but two for like my vlog. We were gonna go home right now, but there is an after party in three hours. We might go to the after party. That's exactly why we're out here. Well, first of all, we're gonna eat out here because the traffic to go home, I'm sure is like two hours, not even joking. Like this is the worst time to go home right now, especially on a Saturday. I searched the spot where the the after party's gonna be at and we're just gonna like eat around uh hopefully i can vlog at the after party you know what i'm saying hopefully they don't bust that shit with us again because i was like are you serious i couldn't believe it i've never came to a ramen place so i don't even know what to do but i guess we're like ordering on our own <laughs> okay i just want to know if we have spicy ramen up in here <laughs> i'm just kidding oh my god i can't not for the timid okay i'm just kidding no this one doesn't have no spice so i want to do this one. Yeah, I got a date. <laughs> check out it. it. Says veggies. Yuck. Yuck. That's so funny. And then no eggs. I'm so disappointed. Okay, so I was like, you know when you're gonna try your food? I know this is like TMI. I'm wearing white pants. Like the only time in my life that I wear white pants. And I start like right now. <laughs> I was like, are you kidding me? So yeah, I have to mention the store after this. Do you smell a challenge coming on? I no, smell wait. the spicy ramen noodle challenge. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like that. Really? Yeah, not really fucking does. That's funny. I'm ready, let's do it. Chat, chat with me. Wow. Set, go, man. Just have her first bite. I, don't I want know to how to use chopsticks. Just try to do it as whatever you can. I can't. Um, that's so hard. I wonder if they do have four. No, just use the chopsticks. Use chopsticks. Just try to do your first bite with chopsticks. No puedo, what do you see? Excuse me? Do you guys have four by any chance? Okay, two. Two, please. I can tell. How do you treat the gun though? I don't know, go. Or what? Yeah. They have that little spoon. I feel like the spice, we can make it more spicy than us. Uh -huh. So, we are here waiting. Okay, so I figured I was like, it's fine. We can go to this event, whatever. We'll just wait in the car. So, I like knocked out for like 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. I had to get some stuff from CVS. So, I like knocked out after. Uh, so, we get here exactly at 8, and they're like, oh, sorry, <laughs> it starts at 9. I'm like, I'm wondering why we got here so early because my invitation says at eight. 8 and everyone else was saying it was at 8. I've seen a few like girls come in but that's like about it. So I guess it is at 9. Oh. I'm just thinking like, yeah. I'm kind of tired. You no, know, and then we were even saying like, I'm like, like, who shows up on time? But either way, we still did. I think we're literally like the first ones. We were literally the first ones here because we asked for the restroom. Yeah. And the guy was like, yeah, um, we're not open yet. I was like, uh, I just need like a restroom. And like, I was even taking pictures on the little carpet, like with no carpet. And they're putting <laughs> the carpet right now. Yeah, like literally that. as I speak. Oh, 
money like a roll over my whole life Cause I love the shit for you It's so cute, it's at a rooftop. My goals. It's a little calm right now because it just started. Oh, boy. Beautiful, 